नोट चैप्टर नंबर नाइन द कॉमेंट बिफोर यू रीड ए न्यू कॉमेंट एज अपेयर इन द स्काई एंड इज एडिंग स्टेट टू फॉर द अर्थ ए हेड ऑन अनक्लोजन व्हिच इज नियरली अनर हेड ऑन कोलिजन 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 व्हिच इज नियरली अनर विल मींस द एंड ऑफ लाइफ ऑन दिस प्लेनेट साइंटिस्ट एंड रिलीजियस लीडर्स React to this situation in two different ways. What happens to the comet? Next, da da da. Eh, hey, you move, scientist. move. Leave that place. Huh? Da da da. An amateur scientist can't stay away from the keen-eyed Dibya Chakshu for long. Dibya has him achieve his secret ambition. Da da da's wife, Indra Devi, wishes he hadn't found the object of his search. Next. Hey. It was a moonless night in December. A burst of cool breeze from the window was enough to disturb the sleep of Indrani Devi. Half awake, she felt for the adjoining pillow. Although she knew the answer, Dattada was not there. Next. So he has gone to Hopna with the wrench to the back. At least he might have bothered to close the door. Even as the as as she muttered, he complained. Indrani Devi could not refer. Repress her smile. She knew how utterly oblivious her husband was. Oblivious, Ob oblivious, okay. Oblivious, oblivious. Her husband was the practical problems of living. Did his doctor tell him to take special precautions against the cold? But he wouldn't remember to put on a sweater even if it if it was lying on his beside chair. How could I? How could he when the bear had? Her spell on him. Next, she picked up the white woolen pullover, wrapped herself in a shawl, and made her way to the roof to break up his tête-à-tête with the bear. She found them both huddled together, eye to eye. At least, at least, Dattada was looking into the bear's eyes. Next, when Dattada acquired, bring your book down. His telescope. He was a thrilled that he called the Dibya Chakshu, divine eye. To Indra Ji Devi, the telescope was like a designing woman who had ensnared her husband. So the just called it Dibya, and the same name stuck. Next. To to Dattada, the telescope marked the fulfillment of the ambition of a lifetime. As an amateur astronomer, he had longed for a astronomer. Astronomer, he had longed for enough money to buy a good telescope and for enough spare time in which to observe the heavens. He got them both when he when he retired with ample money. The telescope was duly installed, and long were the dark nights that Dutta spent in star gazing. At least Indrani Devi thought so. Next, here put on this sweater. Or do you want Nevin Babu to order bed bedrest tomorrow? Like every other astronomer, astronomer, that kind of had a secret. Astronomer. Astronomer, that kind of had a secret ambition that he would one day discover a new comet. For comets can be new, coming as they do from the remote corners of the solar system. Like for planets, comets also orbit around the sun, but their orbits are highly electric. So once in a while, comet comes close to the sun. It has a longest tail that is lit brightly by the sunlight, and then it descends into the darkness, not to be seen again for years or for centuries. Next, what chance did he stand with his eight-inch Dibya? Hmm. Hmm. Professional astronomers, large gigantic telescopes. Dattada was optimistic. Shankar he knew Master. that the professionals. With the pre-assigned programs, would be looking at faint stars and nebulous galaxies. They might miss such an insignificant thing as a comet, which they were not expecting to see anyway. Indeed, amateurs had offered discovered new comets, which the professionals had missed. And continue, continue. Shankar, continue reading. And it looked to Dattada that tonight was going to be the big night. For against the background of the same old stars, <coughs> Dattada had detected a faint stranger. He re-examined the charts with him, checked his divya 
for any smudges on the optics, did some calculation 